Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Today we are going to do an installation video that we've already covered before, but it's been a while and we have a few better tips for you. What we're looking at are these trail site overlays for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco. We have it on our Ford Bronco Raptor, and if you notice that actually says Raptor, because we can't use the Raptor trademark. And on this side over here we have Faptor in code orange to match our body paint. Now, there's a couple interesting things about these is one, that the actual bolts that go in these trail sites, we've had three Broncos now, and none of them are really centered up on the actual hole, so that varies a lot. Plus, these trail sites are textured. So when you install them, you wanna do it in a really warm environment to actually get that adhesive to bond. And because we make these in a size that's appropriate to installing in warm weather, we're talking about like 85 degrees and up, they do stretch on accident. So we've actually made them a little bit shorter and that is why if you install it wet, you'd probably realize that, oh, it, it seems a little short. But we want to install it dry. We want the maximum amount of adhesion possible. We want to do it in 85 degree weather or so. If it's like really, really super hot, like above that, do it in the shade, but still make sure it's around 85 degrees. And we're not touch, talking about just touching 85 degrees, we're talking about like pretty consistently warm. So you install it during the middle of the day, it's about 85 degrees, and then you come home and maybe it'll dip into the 60s or whatnot, but the next day it's warm again, you're in the sun. So this really has an honest chance of bonding uh, with this trail site, this textured material. And then when you go through car washes and whatnot, it'll still be there. We give you eight of these little guys in case you botch the installation, but you can install them on the outside and you can install them on the inside. Um, the inside's kind of cool because it visually you notice it when you're inside driving. You can kind of see where that left and right uh, limit is, even though on the Ford Bronco Raptor we have like over a foot so we actually touched the uh, the corner there. Still gives you a frame of reference. You can kind of understand how far you are from obstacles. What I'm gonna do is put this on a tripod and then do this insulation. Um, right now it's only like 70 some degrees out here. Let me check my watch. It's actually 74 degrees. And the times I usually have problems with my insulations is when I don't follow my rules. So it's gonna be a little bit on the cooler side. If we're lucky, the sun will stay out and that'll help a little, but this is kind of what you get. Uh, I'm gonna reinstall these, but this would be half a set. Um, we have Raptor, Raptor there and Fabtor right here. Like I said, let me get this on a stand and we'll go through an install. All right, starting this install video, it's a little breezy. We don't have full sun and it's 74 degrees, so. Like I said, I'm not following my instructions. I'd rather it be like 85 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot on this tripod, try to stabilize this lens. Make sure your hands are super, super clean. Make sure this area is super clean. The bolts on my trail side are a little bit more centered up on this side than any other side, which is, which is kind of good. Not bad at all. All right, super clean hands, super clean surface. You can use isopropyl alcohol to prep this surface. Now, if your vinyl doesn't come off on one side because of the cut press, start at another side and then pull it off. But we're going to start this install on one side. Ooh, a little breezy. Don't want to lose all my, my vinyls. Try to put that in my pocket. All right, so I'm going to center it up on the hole, not the bolt. I'm going to push down. Now this is another reason why you want to do it in warm weather. We have that max load, 150 pounds right there. Some of our overlays do have logos on them. Some of them don't, depending on which version you get. Put nice tension across that top. And hold it. And like I said, right now it is not 85 degrees, or this would be stretching so very easily. Still stretching pretty easily. Here we go. We're gonna go right over that bolt. And we're gonna press down. Now this is why you want it so warm. You want that sun to really 
bake it onto there, get that adhesive flowing, kind of push down all around there, make sure you're getting a nice bond to the material it can come in contact with. For a second, I almost thought I stretched it uh, too much. But basically, yeah, you're just getting one side down, and then you're stretching it across the top right there, making sure it's a nice bond. If it's cold, this is not gonna work. And I already told you that 74 degrees was not exactly the type of weather that I wanted. I kinda wanted to do this around when it was 85. It was warm pretty much all the days up until now. It's actually kinda cool for Florida. You can see it's starting to rain. But there's our install. There's how you get it to work. Pretty much centered on those bolt holes. This was a very quick install for us. But like I said, there are about three different versions of this. You have various graphics that you can get there. You can get it in kind of paint match colors or you can get it in some of our stock vinyl colors, which winds up probably being a little cheaper on our, on our site if I remember correctly. So we have ones with no text, we have ones with text, and then we have some that are standard vinyl off the shelf. And then we have some that we've custom printed colors to match other colors. So for more stuff like this, uh, just like this video, Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we were coming out with for the 2021 and up for Bronco.